Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to use the TWRP app to update your TWRP custom recovery. The app was recently developed by Team Win themselves and is very easy to use. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, obviously, is go to the Google Play Store, go to the search bar at the top, and search TWRP, or TWRP, however you want to say it, and this comes up right here should be the first thing in the list here and you'll want to click install click accept as you can see that will be installing right there when that's done installed go into it and now it will ask you to agree to the terms and agreements basically and of course agree to that you will need to be rooted to use this app to its full capacity I am rooted so if you're rooted check run with root permissions also check enable network statistics Okay, so this is what the TWRP app looks like when you open it. So there are two options, TWRP Flash, I'll get to that in a minute, and Network Statistics. Network Statistics is really interesting because it allows you to see different networks and how well your phone is connected to those different networks. So I am on T-Mobile, so I can scroll down here and see how well the availability is for T-Mobile. And that is 93%. And that's pretty much because there is a cell tower, which I assume would be T-Mobile, right in my backyard. Now, if I were to have AT&T, I'd have worse availability. And I'd have about the same for Verizon and Sprint and iWireless, which is apparently some company that I've never heard of before. Now, then you can see signal strength. So AT&T, uh, it's largely fair signal strength. Cellular One, it's largely poor. T-Mobile, you got a little bit excellent, a little bit of good, I believe. And of course, iWireless, which is comparable to T-Mobile. Okay, so the main part of this app is T-Warp Flash, and that is what I will show you right now. So once you go into this, it will give you the option to select your device. And that is what you would want to do first. Scroll through this list to find your device. You can also search for it up in the top. That is what I will do. I will type Nexus. Ooh, Nexus. That's a cool name. Nexus 6. That pulled up nothing. So let me search Shamu, and that comes up. So from there, you can select what version of TWRP you want to download. You usually want to go with the newest version, so that's what I will click right there. Gives you that. Click OK to that. It'll direct you to the download page for it, where you can simply download it to your phone right here. So click Download. That'll pop up here. Once that's finished downloading right there, you will then to hit back, go back into the TWARP app, take note of where that downloaded to, so that way you, you can select it. So, current device says Shamu right there, I'm good to go for that, and now you want to tap select file to flash. Then I have it saved under download, so that's where I will navigate to, and I already did this, so I have two files, and I will select one, click select, and now you can flash it to the recovery. And this is a very painless process. You can easily click flash and ask you to confirm it. It'll go through, load for a couple seconds, and say flash completed successfully. Now I believe if you have an unlocked bootloader, you can use this to flash T-Warp to your phone for the first time. So if you don't want to have to manually flash stuff to your recovery, this is a very easy way to do that. And it's also a very easy way to keep your T-Warp custom recovery updated. So that is pretty much it for this app. There is not a whole lot to it, but what is here is very useful and very interesting statistics in the network part and very helpful.